So I was having a snack. I was just dipping pieces of dark chocolate into a jar of peanut butter and I thought there must be a better use for this dark chocolate. There's really not much dark chocolate left. I have the huge craving for chocolate chip cookies and I don't have a lot of chocolate but I won't make so many cookies. I'm just gonna make a couple cookies. Um, so the recipe I have found is with Tasty because Tasty has provided me with the best pancake recipe. So I sort of trust their recipes. Also they I thought they converted things into grams, but they don't. Anyways, this is for making like four cookies. I didn't read this through. This is these aren't actual cookies. It's more like a cookie cake in a cup. Um, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, melt butter. Melt some butter. And I guess I should I should microwave the butter. Already taking it into use. Butter's done its thing. I'm gonna chop some chocolate chips. Now the trick when you're chopping chocolate chocolate chips is to not eat the chocolate chips while you're chopping it. This took me a long time to learn, but the reason for this is that once you're done chopping the chocolate chips, you'll have all this delicious chocolate dust that you can eat. I mean, if you put it in the cookies, it would disappear anyway. Disappearing just from me blowing into it. Sorted. It says to mix the butter, the brown sugar, the sugar, the baking powder, the salt. This is a lot of things. This is, these are both baking soda. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. It must be about a fifth of a some brown sugar. How much, how much? A tablespoon. And when you mix the sugar and the butter, give that a taste too. And really activate your brain cells. A quarter teaspoon of salt. That's really specific, but also it seems like a lot. An eighth. I cannot read. Apart from the, the brown sugar, we're also just adding sugar. I think that's it. That, okay, so we mix that first before adding the flour. Next, add three tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of chocolate chips. <laughs> so when I had an oven before I broke it myself, I made cookies a lot. Whenever I did, when I was making the cookie dough, I would I would sort of nibble on the cookie dough. And I would usually have eaten about a third of the cookie dough that I was about to make cookies with. And by the time the cookies were done, I would have spoiled my appetite. And I wouldn't really want cookies, but then I would have them anyway because they were freshly made. See, now it's somehow less gross than when I was just eating the butter and sugar. What, because I added a bit of gluten? The perception of grossness is disrupted by social media and society. God, I want to eat all of this cookie dough. And I didn't even add the chocolate chips yet. And see, now you have a lot of chocolate dust. What are you going to snack on while you wait for your snack? I don't think I have a bowl that size. And I think it's just going to be another cup cupcake, not cupcake, another mug cake. I'm also going to add just a bit more fat. This, this cookie dough paste is quite dry. The video looks much smoother. The recipe doesn't say to grease the cup. But I think I will. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the sides. It's going to give it a nice fatty crust. I'm already getting acid reflux. Oh my god. So before you eat all your fucking chocolate chip cookie dough, you better put it in this cup. It's got very fatty now and there's a lot of grease in that cup, but I don't think this is a mistake. It's time to stop eating the cookie dough. Alright, so it says 60 seconds, but my long-term experience in microwave cake tells me that it's never just 60 seconds. There's still chocolate dust left, children. Well, it's the war rations, honey. Wooden boards, they never stop smelling like garlic, do they? Yeah, now this is getting disgusting. That's enough. I have definitely lost my appetite for cookies by now. Oh, it does really have that salty, fatty cookie smell. So it's looking all right. I think I did add too much fat to it because I was desperate for stimuli. But I don't think this is a mistake. So let's see how this tastes. That looks very much like a cookie. Oh. It's way too hot and it's very I wanna say dusty in a way. Like it um like it crumples and it crumples into very tiny particles. But it tastes incredible because it is butter and sugar and salt and chocolate and gluten. Yeah, no, it tastes really good. I think I'm gonna have some some, some oat milk with this not very vegan cookie. It's really hot, but I think, oh, it's really good and I may have poked hole into a dangerous new era where I can make cookies even quicker than I could when I had an oven. Use Tasty's recipe. You don't need to add more fat. They were right. And give it more than a minute to cool. Let's see what meals I'll try and cook in my microwave next time. Mm -hmm.